wanted to get cleared out of the way because if you didn't or couldn't do it yesterday, you're in some trouble today. Yeah. You raise your hand? <laughs> yes, oh, yes. no. Hence <laughs> oh, the crunch no. crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll help you out today. It's it's going to, yeah, I mean, we had the, some snow melt, then a little bit of rain yesterday, and, and then everything froze over last night. So, yeah, now you get that crunch feeling. You step outside, and uh, the roads are icy because of it. So just be careful on the roads. Be careful out walking around today. It's icy. It's windy. It's really cold. These are the wind chills. I'm going to start with the wind chill forecast because this is what we're all going to be impacted by today. The wind chill is closer to zero degrees this morning. We'll climb to just around 10 degrees by the afternoon and then tonight. Although the wind will be lighter tonight, the actual air temperature is going to be dropping quite a bit. So wind chills close to zero once again tomorrow morning. So wind chills right now. It is just zero in Ann Arbor. It's minus one in Monroe, minus two in Adrian. That's what it feels like. We've seen occasional snow showers overnight, and we'll get a few more of those through the afternoon today. So snow showers will continue to be off and on, most of which will be light, and there may be around a half inch or so of additional accumulations today. So just a dusting, but sometimes that's all it takes whenever you have some icing or a refreeze of all the snow melt or any of the snow melt that we had yesterday. So be careful. It's uh, going to be a slick morning and today windy and cold with occasional snow showers. Temperatures topping out in the mid 20s today around 2 o'clock this afternoon. And then after 2 o'clock, the wind starts to shift out of the northwest. And we've also been talking about maybe lakeshore flooding. And now the wind direction is moving from the west to the east. It's out of the southwest this morning. It'll be out of the northwest this evening. And uh, that will help. But it's cold today. 9 degrees is the low tonight. The wind dying down around 5 to 15 miles per hour. But the wind gets lighter over. Overnight. And so tomorrow, a calmer day. It's going to be sunny tomorrow, but it's going to be colder in the morning with temperatures 9, 10 degrees to start. We warm to the low to mid 20s tomorrow afternoon. Mostly sunny skies, though, for MLK Day. And then we're down to the teens once again by 6 p.m. just after the sun goes down. So it's going to be cold for the next few days. 25 degrees for the high tomorrow. 27 on Tuesday. We start to warm Wednesday, Thursday, and by this weekend, temperatures close to 40 degrees Friday and Saturday. That's our next potential storm system, and this could be mostly rain Friday, Friday night into Saturday. Some snow possible Saturday. Sound familiar? Last three or two weekends, actually the last two weekends, we've had weekend winter storm systems. Looks like we get another one this weekend, but it looks weaker and it looks like mainly rain. That's still several days away. We're going to tell you if this changes, but more rain than snow, rain possible Friday, <laughs> and then ending as some snow showers <laughs> on Saturday. In the meantime, pretty quiet Monday through Thursday. Most of the work week is quiet and it's just going to be cold for the next few days, especially today with the winds picking up. So layer up. It's a cold one outside.